Welcome to the Local 5 Weather Lab. I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence. As temperatures start to get colder and we head into winter, we always talk about things like bundling up, getting your snow shovel ready, your scraper. But one thing we often forget about, including meteorologists, is talking about air pressure inside of the tires on your car. Remember, as temperatures go down, the air pressure inside of your tire also goes down. You're probably familiar with that warning light, and then you have to stop and add pressure to your tires before you keep driving. See, temperature and pressure are directly proportional to one another. In essence, when temperatures go down, the pressure also goes down, and of course, vice versa, too. If the temperatures go up, the air pressure goes up. When we have colder temperatures, molecules inside of your tire, the air molecules are simply moving slower, so there's less impact overall on the pressure of your tire and that pressure eventually goes down and you have to stop and put air inside of it. As we have warmer temperatures outside, those molecules are moving faster and faster, and so we often don't see any effects on the pressure inside of your tire. But as those temperatures drop, it really becomes common that we see those low pressure warnings. A drop in 10 degrees outside can result in a drop in air pressure inside your tire of 1 to 2 psi, which can be quite a bit different than what your car manufacturer recommends for your specific vehicle. And then, of course, you wind up with this warning light, sometimes green, sometimes orange, and it says low tire pressure. And you want to make sure you're keeping your tires at the pressure recommended by the maker of your car. And you can usually find that in your owner's manual manual or even on the side door, that information is typically there. Low tire pressure can cause a lot of problems, and this is why you want to get it taken care of. It can take you longer to stop, essentially, and when we have a lot of snow or ice on the ground, that can be a big problem because sometimes we're forced to stop in a hurry. Low tire pressure can also result in poor fuel economy, meaning you're not getting as good of gas mileage, poor vehicle handling. Your car just simply doesn't do as well. You get decreased tire lifespan, and then you're forced to replace your tires a little more often than you normally would like to. And of course, you can get greater potential, a much greater potential for a flat tire. And nobody wants to deal with a flat tire when we get into the cold winter air because it's already a pain enough to put the air pressure inside of your tire every so often when you have to do so. It's an even bigger problem if you wind up with a flat tire. So remember, as temperatures drop and we get into the really bitter cold months here soon, just constantly check that tire pressure get yourself a little gauge. You can find them at any convenience store, hardware store. Check it out every so often. Make sure it stays with the manufacturer's recommended air pressure inside your tires and then fill it up. It could save you a lot of hassle as we start to get really cold. For the Local 5 Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence.